In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool gift you can make just using some dowels, a handsaw, and a drill, or preferably a drill press. So to make this project, I bought some one and a half inch, three quarter inch, half inch, and three eighth inch dowel. And to start off, I'm going to cut off a four inch section from the one and a half inch wide dowel. Next, at the drill press, I'm going to drill out a 3 quarter inch hole right down the center of this dowel. And like I said in the beginning, you can also just use a normal hand drill. Uh, you really only have to drill down about 2 inches, so if you think you can keep your bit straight for that depth, then go for it. But this just makes things a lot easier for me. Also to make things easier, I drilled a 1 half inch hole partway through this piece of scrap just until the tip passed through. And now I can use it to mark the center of these dowels when I'm making these. Once I've drilled about two inches down, I'm gonna fill that hole that I just drilled with one of the three quarter inch dowels. And I'm not gonna glue it in, I'm just gonna fill the hole and then cut it flush. And now I'm gonna switch out for the 3 8 inch bit. And now I'm gonna drill another hole two inches down, right at the intersection between the one and a half inch and three quarter inch dowel. Also, you'll notice throughout this project, I'm only using brad point or Forstner bits, or spade bits would work as well. But uh, if you're going to make this project, try to use a bit that has a point on it so you can be a lot more accurate. Um, accuracy isn't super important to this project, but it is going to make it look a lot better. And same thing, once I drill about 2 inches down, I'm going to fill that hole with a 3 8 inch dowel and cut it flush. And now I just have one more hole to drill. Uh, this time I'm going to switch out for a half inch bit. And again, I'm going to drill straight down the center. You can tell it's a little bit off center on this last hole, but it'll be fine. And my drill press only goes down two inches, and this last hole needs to be three, so I'm finishing it off with my hand drill. Like I said earlier, you don't want to glue these dowels in place, because you're going to have to pry them out at this point, and I'm using an old spade bit to do that. I'm going to repurpose that center marking guide that I made earlier to help me with this next step. Now I need to cut four quarter inch sections from this dowel. And after each cut, I pry out the quarter inch section and sand it smooth and then square up the remaining dowel so it's ready for the next cut.
This next step isn't necessary, but I think it makes the final product look better. Uh, I'm going to use my drill kind of as a lathe, and I'm going to use one of my hole saw bits with some tape wrapped around it to make for a tighter fit to hold each of these dials that I cut and sand and round over the edges. Here's a closer look at all my parts, and now all I need to do is assemble it. I'm going to put the 3 quarter inch dowel back in place, this time actually gluing it in place, and i got to make sure that it lines up the way that it was originally. And then I'm going to put the dials back in place in the same grain order as I cut them off. And I'm going to glue on just that top one. This will allow the other three dials to move freely without coming off. And with my last piece, that 3 8 inch dowel, I'm going to glue it onto a half inch dowel and cut it flush. Also, because of the curve of the blade of my previous cuts, the 3 quarter inch dowel is now too long, so I'm going to cut that flush too. Now with that key piece that I made with the 3 8 and half inch dowel, I need to make some marks. So I'm going to set the dial in place and mark where it stops, and then I'm going to line that mark up with the edge and mark out the space in between the first and third dial. And that is the space that I need to cut out so that the dials can still spin freely when the key is in place. Lastly, I'm just going to cut a slot into the back of the half inch dowel and then I'm going to widen that kerf with some sandpaper. And there you go. Here's a much funner way of giving someone some money on a holiday. You just fit the bill into the slot that you cut and then you fit the key into place and when the grain of all the dials matches up, the key can come in and out, but once you mix up the dials, the key is stuck in place. I made a few of these before and after filming, and before filming, they took quite a while just trying to figure out how exactly I wanted to make them, but by the time I made the last one, I was able to make one of these in just about an hour, and maybe quicker if I was batching them. So hopefully with the help of this video, a project like this won't take too long.